Hi there. This is my review on a book called A Splash of Red. This book I've read before, and it contains a lot of facts about a person called Horace. It's a biography book, and I'm doing this for my second project in the first quarter of my school year. So, inside the book, Horace's family is, well, it kind of... I don't know, like, Horace seems a lot big, pretty big in this picture, and it says within the book on the first page that, um, Horace, which was, um, Daniel and Christine Pippin's child, grew extremely fast and had big hands. That's, it talks about that a lot in the book. And it says on February 22nd, 1888, in the town of Westchester, Pennsylvania, celebrated a holiday. That day in the same town, Daniel and Christine Pippin celebrated the birth of their son, Horace. And in the book, it contains, um, it shows how he grew up, and it also contains quotes about his art skills. I'll try to find one right here. Um, hmm. Right here. This is a one that's very early in the book. You probably cannot read it because of the camera quality, but it says, pictures just come to my mind and I tell my heart to go ahead. And it talks about um, how it was in school. And next, after this, this is kind of like, um, you know, it's going into the middle of the story. It's not on introduction. And it says, it says that in the newspaper, there's, draw me and win a prize. And it's kind of weird, but, um, the one that's kind of duller, more pencil-like, is Horace's drawing. And one of them is the newspaper drawing. And it says, draw me a new prize, you know what? And so a few weeks, in the book it says, a few, week, a few weeks later, a package arrived. And this package w means that he won, and he has his perf first box of real art supplies, it says in the book. So later, and it just talks about um, how he wanted to be an artist or something. No, he didn't want to. But he just liked art. And then it says, it talks about, um, a little bit about when he's in his, like, high school and job years, I should say. So it says, Horace was in eighth grade when his father left for good. The family needed money, so Horace quit school and went to work. And then he is a list of jobs that he did. For several years, Horace... Horace's big hands, I told you he talks about that a lot, big hands were always busy, stocking grains, sacks at a feed store, shoveling coal at a rail yard, mending fences on a farm, carrying luggage at a hotel, making bricks in an iron factory, packing oil paintings into large wooden crates. And those are all the jobs apparently he did. And it says that looking at these um, made Horace remember winning the art contest that was on the previous page. And... <clears throat> He talks about all the responsibilities he has and how everybody um, always um, told him, make a picture for us, Horace. It's kind of hard to say for us, Horace, but, and now it's talking, he's not just, not just the neighbors are saying that, but now the helpers in the factory as well are saying that. So then talks about um, how there's a terrible war begun across the ocean, and it talks about how Horace's big heart wanted to help, so he joined the army and sailed away. And then it talks about how his regiment dug deep trenches and um, just battled. And then he wrote down, he felt he had a notebook and a pencil, and he wrote down certain things, and also um, the other soldier his soldier friends actually says, um, somewhere right here. If if the fighting stopped for a while, Horace would put down his gun and pick up a, and picked up a pencil. 
Make a picture for us, Horace. His soldier friends pointed. And he did. Mm. Yeah. And then, this is kind of the problem. One day, he climbed up to the top of the, tr the trench. A shot rang out. Horace's, Horace felt pain in his shoulder. He was hit. So, in his... Um... Uh, doesn't say which one. Oh, yeah, his right shoulder. So, in his right shoulder, right about right here, it shows in the picture that he was shot. And now... Shows Horace was glad to be alive, but then bullet da that badly damaged his right arm, and he couldn't um, do art very well anymore. And then so it explains how he was disappointed that he can't really do art as well as he could, and then kind of comes to an early conclusion, and then a problem, and it's solved. Basically, the problem was before this little conclusion right here, kind of just telling how the end of his life went. Not like end, but when he gets married. That kind of stage in life. And then it'll... Um, he'll solve the problem when he got hit in his right shoulder. After the war, Horace came back to the United States and met Jenny, Jenny Wade. And it talks about how they were a perfect match and they got married in November 20th, 1920. And then here's another... Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a quote, a little bit of a quote. I can never forget suffering, and I will never forget the sunset. I came home with all of it in my mind. And then it talks about how he tried to help out his mu He couldn't really get a job, so he tried to help out as much as he can, and um, he couldn't get a job. So, and how, can you, how much can you lift, the hiring boss asked, and that was the end of that when, you know, when he was, like, in the, I think of the word, I can't find, find it, I don't know, but, like, when you're doing an inter interview, I think, for a job, but, so he talks about how he did what he could, and then, um, this is where he solves the problem. As he went along, as he, he talks about how, as he walked along the streets, he just really wanted to draw, but he couldn't. And so then, at night, I'll just read this whole entire paragraph right here. At night, his old, in his home, his old home in Goshen, in Goshen, Goshen, I'm not sure. Um, his grandmother's slave days, and the Bible story she told, made pictures in his mind. He longed to draw them, but how? His right arm was weak and painful to lift. The iron poker stood by the fire, straight and tall as a soldier. Could he? Kind of like trying to get you to go to the next page. It's like, could he what? With his left hand, he grasped his right. He grasped his right wrist and thr he thrust the poker into the flames, until it was gl it glowed red hot. Using his good arm to move the hurt one, he scorched lines into the wood. Make a picture for us, Horace. The neighbors said, and Horace did. So then, the rest of it just talks about how um. He became a famous, famous artist, um, did quite a few things that were um, creative. And here's another quote. I go over that picture in my mind several times, and when, when, I'm, when I am ready to paint, I have, all the time, I have all the time and details I need. Then it shows um, pictures he's drawn. Of course, these aren't the real pictures, it's just kind of like sketches. Right. And then it talks about how he tried to sell his paintings. He hung them up in a shoe store and it said um, $5 each. And nobody bought them, but they admired them, but, the, but nobody bought them. And then the president of, local, of a local artist club saw Horace's pictures and he wanted he called his a famous painter, painter N. C. White, to come over as his friend, and um, so they were talking about how good Horace's art is, and they said, "Do you have more?" Van asked, and then they all got it, and then they should have. 
they um, set up a little art show for him. Showed all of his art and kind of just everything is going very, very, very well for him. And then it says, uh, this is kind of like a wrapping up sequence. And if he stood outside his house late at night, you might see him leaning towards his easel, his left hand holding up his right, ri his right wrist, painting the pictures in his mind. And then it has a historical note, of, and actually shows the real picture of him. So, it's kind of cool. And yeah, just blah, 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 boring stuff. So, um, that's going to wrap it up for my book review on A Splash of Red. And, um, oh yeah, just details. If some of you are wondering if there's going to be, like, people who just watch my videos for entertainment. This is for my school. This is not for, um, entertainment videos or anything like that. This is for my school. That's going to wrap it up for this video. I'll see you all next time.